so data is changing the way we work. It's kind of a coming to all domains, it's, it's domain agnostic. And of course, that's a, it's quite a rapid change. So it's also, it's both an opportunity and a challenge for people. But like, like with any other previous phase in the automation of work, uh, there's new jobs are being created. So Jarmo Eskelinen, uh, I'm the executive director of the data-driven innovation program at the University of Edinburgh and from Finland originally, where the funny name and accent come from. DDI means Data Driven Innovation, and it's a massive 10-year uh, investment program within the scale of 660 million pounds in Data Driven Innovation in the Edinburgh and South uh, East Scotland. We are basing this on 50 years of legacy, so data sounds like the uh, uh, new kid of the block, but of course it's, uh, there's lots of uh, previous work on which we, have, we are building this. The first uh, AI program in Edinburgh was launched in 1963. That was the second in the world. So that's, that's when the data work started. And that has led to a few things. Uh, first, the School of Informatics at the University of Edinburgh, it's by far the best in the country. So they churn out 50% of research papers in this domain in the UK. We have also capitalized on the legacy. So there's a very lively ecosystem of companies which have actually spun out over the past 10, 15 years. Uh, the largest tech incubator, Codebase, and the uh, biggest amount of, of uh, unicorns uh, per uh, population ratio uh, is in Edinburgh. So uh, talent, legacy, and ways to turn that into companies. We are going to see skills in data needed in across different industries which you wouldn't think to be data driven. Maintenance industries, people using uh, augmented reality or virtual reality to understand you know whether what's going on in the pipes or in care, in advanced care systems, helping elderly people to live in their homes. And then of course the traditional white color jobs, uh, finance, insurance, they are all be being transformed by data. Automation, of course, can, does lots of things which people used to do. But what we do need people, people for is things like, inter what does data mean? How do you interpret what you see? I would uh, search for a combination of, of technical and uh, kind of humanities skills, connecting STEM skill sets with arts, so-called STEAM education, that you combine creative and technological competencies together, because otherwise things are utterly too hard to use for many people. So the best way entrepreneurs learn are from each other, from more experienced entrepreneurs and even their peers. And it's a peer-to-peer -peer conversation which are the most valuable for entrepreneurs because they recognize each other's challenges. They are in the same spot or they have been in the same spot. I think the entre entrepreneurial landscape is sort of a very mentor or, or peer learning driven. And these places, these events are the place where that happens.